नमस्ते वेलकम टू यू जी सी ई पाठशाला फॉर पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट स्टडीज आई एम अनिता खन्ना एंड आई टीच जैपनीज इन जवाहरलाल नेहरू यूनिवर्सिटी एंड टूडे इज पेपर्स नेम इज पेपर फिफ्टीन एन इंट्रोडक्शन टू जैपनीज लिटरेचर इन इंग्लिश The module we are going to study today is Utsuho Monogatari in Japanese and its English title is Tale of the Hollow Tree. Let's start with the aim of this module. The objective of this module is to learn about the lesser known monogatari work which is utsuho monogatari it was written before the tale of genji yet it has been a lesser known work although it had all the elements of creative fiction of that time called monogatari these elements were like the presence of divine and supernatural in the story inclusion of the other world like in case of taketori monogatari the tale of bamboo cutter it was the heaven presence of princess as protagonist and selection of the groom by posing difficult tasks before all also the presence of political dimension in the form of delegation of kentoshi presence of political strife that looms all over the world throughout the story is seen therefore by learning about this story the precursor of the famous tale of genji we will know about the development of monogatari or rather the evolution of monogatari works background with the rise in indigenization of japanese culture and systems in 10th century by when the dispatch of delegations to china was a thing of past by this time there was an unprecedented literary activity and the literary scene was marked by the novel style of prose which was enjoyed by the aristocrats and named as monogatari a completely japanese genre that had no previous example in the chinese literature introduction utsuho monogatari is a long novel of 20 volumes The story starts with the character Toshikage Kiyohara who was a prince and a court official who lands in Persia as the ship he boarded as a part of the Kentoshi is shipwrecked and he survives but is drifted to an unknown land the scene is described in the opening paragraph of the novel like this long ago in the reign of emperor saga there was a prince named kiyohara in the service of the court he was ceremonial officer His wife who was a princess by blue blood 
bore him a son who proved to be a clever boy by nature and boy of superior dispositions at the age of 7 when the boy was interviewed by an envoy of korea he recited a chinese poem and it was highly praised by the korean delegate this took the emperor by surprise when this boy was 12 he went through the initiations and when he turned 16 to shikage was asked to join the embassy to china that was kento shi there were three ships that set sail but on encountering rough weather all were shipwrecked all members died but toshika gave us able to survive and he landed up in an inhabited land in persia there he learned string koto music from a celestial being and after many years returns back to japan with the koto instruments and also skill to play the music so from this paragraph we can understand the supernatural elements of toshikage his miraculous escape to an unknown land and the presence of celestial being to guide him and teach him the divine music of koto let's have a look at why the title of utsuho is taken utsuho stands in meaning for the empty bark of a tree it's like a hole in a bark tree in which due to political upheavals the young court noble nakatada lived in hiding and to shikage after his return taught him the divine music which he played later in the court and got fame as well as wealth contents this long romance of 20 volumes reads almost like a novel and is authorship is not ascertained although some attributed to minamoto no shitago a scholar and a poet of the time to whom most of the monogatari works are attributed but he has preferred to remain anonymous and therefore except for few monogatari is like the tale of genji the authorship of monogatari works is not a certain the plot is divided into three parts first as we can see the first part is more of miraculous and the second and third part is realistic and it covers in these three parts the three generations of toshikage the protagonist who comes in the first chapter then his daughter and his grandson nakatada to whom he teaches the divine music which he learned while staying in the unknown land from a celestial being in the second part of the story toshikage returns back to the capital from the lonely island of celestial beings 
and while he is returning back he was presented a set of koto instrument already by then he had grown old and found his way back to his country and met his daughter and taught her the koto music Tushikage's daughter married a court official Fujiwara no Kanemasa and gave birth to his grandson Nakatada Due to the political upheavals Nakatada and his mother had to go into hiding and they lived in a hole of a big tree there toshikage taught his grandson the koto music he had learned from the celestial being so the story evolves as a story of music the divine koto music and the expert Nakatada who's a young official who is in the service of the court and because of his exceptional skill in the music and poetry he draws the attention of even the princess and becomes close to her the princess Abinomia had many suitors and she gives them difficult tasks or asks them to show their talent and Nakatada is able to impress her but ultimately princess wedded the crown prince like this the story ends with the power struggle between her child and the child from another queen of that prince and the political weightage ultimately decides about who would be the next crown prince the entire work although lacks consistency in terms of chronology between the chapters but there is the binding link all throughout the work which is of the koto music and as a presence of music as well as poetry shows that how much it was desirable in order to rise in the hyan circles and society this was the traditional arts of music calligraphy dance poetry were highly desirable qualities in a man that would in order to succeed in his career there is an obvious similarity between this work and its precursor taketori monogatari especially in the form of the suitors also in the form of divine and supernatural elements and ultimately it presents a real picture of society especially the court circles and the court politics needless to say it has similarities also with the famous genji monogatari in which the court politics are further expanded around the character of Hikaru Genji and Kaoru Genji